Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 14.12, okay? It says, design considerations for the bumper B on the 5 megagrams train car requires use of a nonlinear spring having the low deflection characteristics shown in the graph. Select the proper value of K so that the maximum deflection of the spring is limited to 0.2 meters. When the car traveling at 4 meters per second strikes the rigid stop, Neglect the mass of the car wheels. All right, so first of all, let's start writing our givens. So we're given that the mass of this train is equal to five megagrams. And if we convert this to our usual units, this will be equal to 5,000 kilograms, okay? Now, they are also giving us that the maximum deflection, so I'm just gonna write it as max deflect. And then this is our S equal to 0 0.2 meters, okay? So that's the deflection for a spring, okay? According to this force. Now, they're also telling us that the car is traveling at the beginning, it's traveling at four meters per second, okay? And I'm going to call this B1. Now, in order to solve this problem, we're going to utilize our uh, chapter 14 um, equations we're given a couple so the ones that we're, uh, we're going to use is this chapter 14 with respect to our energy plus work initial so the initial energy plus the work of our system has to be equal to our kinetic energy at the end okay now let's remember that this t is our kinetic energy which is one half mass velocity square and we're also going to utilize in order to know the work given by the force let's take a look that our force is k times s meaning that it's variable it depends with respect to the deflection so we're going to utilize that our work is going to be equal to the integral of our force with respect to the position okay so let's just start so first where we need the kinematic energy kinetic energy of our system initially so we will have one half one half the mass of our train which is 5,000 kilograms multiplied by the velocity well the initial velocity is 4 so we're going to square it and then we're going to have minus, and then I'm going to explain this minus later because the equation has a plus, right? So minus the work given by this force. Now, the work is going to be the integral from zero deflection all the way to our maximum deflection, which is our 0 0.2. So we got 0 0.2 meters. And our force, since we need to do the integral of our force, then our force is equal to ks squared, and we're going to have ds. And this will be equal to our um, kinematic energy at the end. Well, we're going to have one half the mass, which is 5,000, multiplied by the final velocity. But the final velocity itself is not given. However, we're being told that this strikes the rigid stop, meaning that our train will halt, will go to a stop. And that means that our velocity is equal to zero, okay? So this is our energy work balance equation. Now, why do we have a minus? And the reason for this minus is that, okay, we're traveling at this velocity traveling to the right and then when we are at this point my train stops because it's facing a force that is totally opposite and equal to our spring force right so it's going to the left it's stopping this train therefore since my velocity is to the right but my force is going to the left trying to push hard towards the left in order to stop this that means that our sign for our work is negative, okay? So now that we have that over with, let's just start simplifying this equation. Let's simplify this and put it into our calculator. And if we do that, we'll end up having 40,000 
minus the integral of ks squared ds. Well, that will give me ks cubed divided by 3, and we still need to evaluate it from 0 all the way to 0 0.2, okay? And this should be equal to 0. Why 0? Because we got 0 multiplied by a number will give me a total of 0, okay? So we need to uh, apply our boundaries in here. Therefore, we can have that 40,000 minus K, and then we're plugging 0 0.2 for my S, 0 0.2 cube divided by 3, got to be equal to 0, okay? If we solve for K, we will end up having 40,000 divided by 0 0.2 cube and multiply it by 3, okay? And if we plug this into our calculator, this will give me a total of 15 millions, if I'm not wrong. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So this gives me 15 millions, and the units are newtons per meter square, okay? So whenever you check your units, make sure you get these units. Now, if we convert this into mega, we can simplify this as 15 mega newtons per meter square. And this should be our final answer for our question. So if you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.